guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So what we're gonna be discussing today is how to use a portable washer. This is ideal for those that live in apartments or you know, don't have the washer and dryer connections, you know, if you're in a townhome or just anywhere you are and you wanna get that feel good experience and you wanna wash your clothes and still kinda of still get that um, washing material experience, um, at your home, then yes, you can. I am gonna show you guys how to do that. And tune into me, I'm sorry, tune into this video to learn how to use a portable washer. So yeah, and this is just intended for those that, you know, still wanna get that, you know, washer dryer experience. This is ideal for those that want to wash their clothes at home and don't have, and don't wanna to go to um, a laundromat or have to, you know go back and forth and just get that experience and you know still kind of stay at home and just you know wash your clothes especially due to covid you know no one wants to be waiting and large crowds to wash clothes and still get you know um, exposed to this deadly virus so i am going to show you guys how um to use a portable washing machine now you do have the option to get a dryer um that is something i won't be discussing in this video but I will be showing you guys how to use it. So we're gonna get into that next. All right guys, so I'm gonna go into the basics of this actual um, washing machine. It's portable. So please don't think, don't try to add too much clothes in it, but we'll get into that. So this is the brand. It's a Pan 6320W. Um, so that's what it is. You have your start, your pause button, and your power button here as well. These are all the modes of function. You have at least eight options on how to wash your clothes. Um, and we'll go into this in a little bit more detail as well. This is the brand of the portable washing machine. So it's a Panda. And guys, it costs right about 200 and I would say $30. I got this from Amazon, but you can always check with different retailers as well. This is how it looks. This is everything on it. It's not too tall. So this is it. You have your cord. This is your wall cord you put into the wall to, to get it on. And this is what you actually put into the outlet on your sink. So I'm going to show you guys that. You put that into your sink to function it. So, And what this is, is your drainer. So this is your drainer hose. This is what you actually, you can either put this in your tub or put it in, you know, your toilet to drain out all the, um, water and rinse from the actual washing machine so guys we're going to get into detail and i'm going to show you guys exactly how that works all right all right guys so just overall i'm screwing the little hose or connector that you're going to need to insert into your sink um, that is, you have to find the one that's going to be compact. Well, I think the washer already is going to come with this. So yeah, it's going to come with this handy, but you have to ensure that your sink is compatible with this. Cause if it's not a compatible, it won't work. So you're just going to screw that into your sink. All right. So we're getting that screwed in. All right, so you wanna make sure that's tight and centered in there. All right, guys, so the next part is for you to connect the hose. This is where your water source is gonna to come to wash your clothes, of course. So you need this, and you're just gonna go ahead and plug that in there, and you'll hear the click. There you go. And you're gonna take a look and just make sure everything's good. You can even try to run the water too, just to make sure it's not you know, leaking anywhere. So it's good, guys. And one thing you wanna ensure is that you don't use the heat option. Um, this is not good for a portable washing machine. So it is portable. There are specific requirements you do have to follow. So do not mess with that hot button or you know, do the heat wash. Only code is compatible. All right, so now we're gonna transition into the actual power cord. And so guys, you wanna make sure that your drainer hose is basically leading you right to your bathtub. You don't want the water going everywhere. So just try to ensure it's connected there. Again, the great hose is gonna go right into that bathtub. All right, so it looks like we're pretty much set and good to go. We have our connector hose going into the water source here, our sink, and then we also have it plugged in. 
So now for the fun part. <clears throat> we are actually gonna go through the specs. So guys, this, let me open it and show you. Okay guys, so this, as you can see, doesn't have much, I'm sorry, does not have much capacity for a large wash load. You're only gonna add in just a few clothes, you know, maybe some underpants, maybe some socks, maybe a couple of shirts. And I think you can also do some, like at least one jean as well. You don't wanna do too many jeans or too much of a bulk of clothes. So it's, again, guys, it's a portable washing machine, so it doesn't handle too much. Um, so that's basically how it looks inside. That's it. And yeah, these are the basic connections. This is for normal standard and we're going to turn it on. So guys, that number there is just to let you know the amount of water. So pay attention to your water level as well. You can, depending on your load size, you can do a five, you can do four, three, two, one. So it honestly just depends on your wash load and what you do have there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my clothes and I will be showing you guys that. So one second. So guys, again, you don't wanna put too much clothes in it. Look at how it looks here. This is basically the flap that closes the um, door. So this is the door panel. You can open that. So guys, not too much clothes and you want to go ahead and add your detergent at this point. So that's what I'm doing. And one cup is pretty much good. So just ensuring that you have that all around. All right, guys, so once you've added your, I'm sorry, guys, once you've added all of your fabric softener in your detergent, you want to go ahead and just close that and it makes that noise. So basically we're gonna come down to where it says the water level and what we want that to be. So it is pretty a heavy set. Um, you don't wanna ration your water or anything or you know, do anything that's not gonna ensure you get a good wash. So based on the size, I would say the water level should be right about at five. So we're gonna go to water level spin. And that's the button. So one, two, three, five, okay. Now we're gonna choose our program display. You can do normal, you can do standard, quick wash, or you can do a heavy duty. So I'm gonna do the heavy duty. So that's number four. So two, four. Okay, and then you wanna go ahead and start. All right, and then you wanna go ahead and start it. So you're gonna hear that noise, and I believe it tells you how long it's gonna take. So it's gonna be 52 minutes. That's not hours, guys, so it's 52 minutes. All right, and you basically just let it wash and I will be back to show you guys the final product. So guys, right now it's in the spinning process, just as your normal washer would. Um, it's spinning right now and it tells you the amount of minutes that are remaining, 26 in the wrist and phase. So as we can see, CC means rinse, um, RR means soak, EV means wash. So it's just very detailed. It's very informative and it's they make it just like an actual washer. Um, it's not too loud, but um, you know, I can definitely hear that. And yeah, guys, it's, it's just really convenient, very good for your own use. Um, and yeah, so we'll be back when it's time to look at the final result. Hey guys, so I am currently back to showing you guys how the final products look and how my clothes look. So these are the clothes. Guys, they smell so good. Very wash, really good. And guys, so overall, um, if you do not have a dryer, you can always, you know, hang your clothes in your bathroom and let them dry that way. But overall, guys, just to give you my full opinion, um, this this machine it works wonders for me. It is awesome, and I think you guys should try it. So just to give you my full opinion on the washer itself, I think it, it works really good. It works amazing. Um, my clothes came out looking so tidy and fresh and clean, and the fact that I can get that experience at the comfort of my home is amazing and wonderful, and I would highly suggest that you guys try that as well. Um, guys, go to Amazon. I'll leave a link down below on where you can actually purchase this. And 
yeah, it's amazing for those living in apartments. Um, if you are transitioning to a home, you know, of course you wouldn't need this, but it is just convenient if you're in a dorm room or just, you know, anywhere that's not, does not have a, a washer and dryer hookup. So yeah, guys, it's been amazing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and you guys have a good one.